Hey what's up guys, it's Samuel from Type D Movies. In this episode I want to show how you check the VTEC solenoid of your K-series engine. Checking the solenoid could be necessary if you have any problems with the VTEC system, for example when the VTEC isn't engaging. If the engine control unit realizes any problem with the VTEC system, the chance is high that your engine control light will turn on. And if you read out the error codes, um, you should get this diagnostic trouble code 1259, which means VTEC system malfunction. So if you have any issues with this, I recommend at first to check the Vitex solenoid because it's no big job, it can be done in about 30 minutes. Okay, let's jump right into this. The solenoid is located at the back side of the engine, like you can see it here in the video. Of course, I show you how to remove the solenoid with the built-in engine. Okay, let's start. As I said before, the solenoid is located at the back side of the engine. You can see it here in the picture. It is mounted with three balls. You don't have to remove the small bolt in the left corner, it just holds the heat shield, but you can remove the wall solenoid including the heat shield, so it's enough to remove uh, these three balls down there. First step is removing the plugs of the solenoid itself and of the oil pressure switch. Oh, difficult word for me. <laughs> now you have to unscrew the bolts. It's a bit difficult because you can't see anything from above. You can help yourself with a little mirror or feel the bolts with the fingers and then put the ratchet on. When it comes to unscrew the last bolt, hold the solenoid with the other hand because it would fall down. Here you can see it in the video, I'm holding it with my right hand. Unscrew the last bolts and the solenoid is finally removed. Now, what could be wrong with this little piece? You recognize this little filter on a solenoid? There's a metallic sieve on it which protects the solenoid from dirt particles in the engine oil. A delayed oil change could be the reason for a dirty engine oil and the metallic sieve gets clogged over time until it's so clogged that the engine oil can't pass the filter. The result of this, um, the VTEC system can't build up any oil pressure. What's necessary to engaging the VTEC, the engine light will turn on and the VTEC system fails. Okay, if you remove the solenoid and see a dirty and clogged filter and metallic sieve, Replace the wall part, I included the part number in the video. In addition to the filter replacement, you have to clean the wall solenoid with brake cleaner for example. After you reassemble the solenoid, change the engine oil and the engine oil filter because the engine oil is maybe dirty. I was lucky, my solenoid was shiny clean. Now I want to show how you reassemble the solenoid. Before you do this, make sure to clean the sealing surface on the cylinder head. After this, put the solenoid in position, put the three balls back in screw them completely in and then tighten them with about 7.2 pound feet or 10 newton meters. It's very less so I recommend to tighten them hand tight. At least don't forget to connect the two plugs of the harness and then you are all done. So I hope you enjoyed the video about the Vitex solenoid inspection. If you have any additional questions feel free to comment below the video and if you want more content about K-series swaps or technical K-series topics Visit our website, capehorror.net.